All right, everybody. So it's been a while since we did a Facebook Live, but we thought this was a great time to kick it back up. We're here at True Audio. Uh, our friends from True Audio and Chase, my man, is going to give us a tour of headquarters. Headquarters. We're excited that you guys are here. Yeah. Thanks for coming down. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go inside. Sort of underdressed for the event. Well, welcome. So this is our corporate office. So this is when we, where we run sales. We carry about 30%, 40% of our inventory. All of our product development's done here. And we like to invite anyone that's in the territory, whether it's our dealers or end users that want to come scope us out. Uh, as you, right as you walk in the door, you have an opportunity to come and hear, for example, our new invisible speakers that we actually have playing here. They're blended right into the wall, blend effortlessly into your living space. You we're, sound amazing, by the way. I was, thank you. When I first walked in today, uh, you weren't here, we should have been here, but I was laughing at the guys because I was looking up, <laughs> and I've seen that you guys put them here, and I totally forgot. Right. I was like, oh man, these are them. Th these they are sound them. amazing. So yeah, they're, they're, we got uh, two speakers and a sub, blend uh, right into the wall. We're actually going to throw a TV up here, one of those new Samsung frame TVs. We'll just make it look really elegant, kind of give everybody an idea of what it'll look like in their living space. So These are really cool. For, for our clients that watch this, or our design clients that watch this, the way this works is like we're doing a job for a guy right now in Boca Raton, Florida, and he's got a couple of rooms that are just really well designed, kind of a, a classic modern design, and he wants aesthetically for things to look amazing. He doesn't want to see speakers. We talked to a guy in LA, same thing, he doesn't want to see speakers in his ceilings. He can actually place the speakers in the wall, and then they mud over the front of the speaker, right. and it actually plays through and it sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So, and the nice thing about ours is they're, they're designed where you can use them for just even background listening or they're powerful enough where you can use them for home theater too. So. Yeah, I saw the one guy on your Instagram feed was doing the, uh, he had them for, for, for his LCRs, right? Mm -hmm. He did. And he actually put them behind vinyl flooring, very thin, flexible vinyl flooring on the wall. So it had a really nice texture and still sounded So it wasn't great. even the mud. It, it wasn't was, even mud. It was wow. vinyl flooring. And he's happy with them. Huh? He loves them. Those is are it, cool. He, he, he says they're the best sounding invisible speakers he's ever heard. So Well, we're we heard that. When, we, when you guys gave us the demo, mm -hmm. Was it like three months ago? Mm -hmm. There were a half dozen guys here who'd use a lot of different brands. And everybody, after you guys were gone out there in the parking lot, said these were their favorite invisible speakers. Really? Yeah. That's great. I love it. I didn't hear them. So, so these sound amazing. Well, thank you. We're, everyone that's had a chance to listen to them loves them so far. So that's good. We'll keep it up. We'll keep it going. You want to see the rest of the shop? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm very excited to see. They're going to show us kind of behind the scenes uh, where they assemble all the gear. So it's going to be fun. So we're going to, so this is Don, by the way. This is uh, Hi, she's on our inside sales team. We're actually going to step right out here into our assembly area. We've actually got a lot going on. Uh, we just received Justin, a... Justin, my man! Say that again. Did you ever just show a bunch of just five minds that we Hey, could you, would you mind hanging out here for just a minute? Less, yeah. Okay. So we're going to actually snag Justin while we've got him, if that's okay. He's about ready to take off. Yeah, yeah. Would you mind maybe just telling us a little bit about uh, some of the responsibilities you have at True Audio? And you can talk as freely and as lively as you'd like. Oh boy, I was really excited. Well, the most pleasurable part of working at True Audio is right here with Chase Harrison, who is just an outstanding individual. And if, if it weren't for him, I don't know that we would even be alive anymore. Uh, my name is Justin Dudley. I'm the Logistics Director, Inventory Control Manager for True Audio. So I manage everything outside of production and sales. Uh, I take care of all of our import shipments, all the product, inventory control, warehouse management, uh, basically everything that has to do with getting what they do to the customer on time and in one piece. So hopefully uh, that's happening on a regular yeah. basis. And I got, I got to be careful what I say. I can't say anything about other brands per se, but you guys have the best logistics in the game. Uh, I think there's one or two companies, you're one of them, of all the companies we've worked with that are the top. We never have issues with shipping. Stuff gets where it's supposed to go, when it's supposed to get there. If you guys ever have some weird quirk, I get a call from you before I know about it. You guys have already fixed it or changed it. Like, it's amazing. So when I knew you were the guy behind it, I was like, <laughs> you gotta get to know Justin yeah, that's even it. better. Well, thank you, that makes me feel very good. But obviously it's, a, it's not me, it's a whole team effort. And it, it starts with his team and making sure that we're getting what we need to get the job done right. And, and we all work together from there. So, well, and Justin, yeah. if there is somebody that's better, I want to know who it is. You don't have to be <laughs> we human. We can talk off camera. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Let me know what it is that. we're missing on, and I'll no, get there. No, I think you guys are right up there at the top for well, sure. That's fantastic. Well, and so Justin, just to kind of give you an idea, he manages three warehouses plus all of our facilities in Asia, uh, and those are global warehouses. So we have one here, one on the East Coast in the U.S., and then one actually in Holland. And keeping track of you know all the inventory we have between the three warehouses is not an easy task, and we have literally hundreds of SKUs. He's staying on top of, so we appreciate him. We do the best that we can. Okay. So, <laughs> thanks, Justin. Thank you very appreciate much, it. Guys. See you, man. Congrats, yep. See little you. girl. Thank you.
So what I was saying is we just got a huge uh, replenishment in of a lot of different uh, items. We're in the process of actually quality checking a lot of them. Um, this is a kind of a shared space where they do a lot of quality checks on, uh, on various products. We also have uh, our assembly area. We do our custom length uh, sound bars here, and, uh, which are our quick turn sound bars. We turn them around in three business days. Three business uh, days to turn a custom, custom sound, sound bar. bar. Which industry standard, it used to be about two weeks, and uh, we were able to accelerate that with, uh, with our process. And so it helps, especially those jobs that come up last minute, we take care of those. And then uh, dealers really like it because it doesn't mean they have to you know, worry about, hey, is the sound bar going to get here in time for the next job? And yeah. stuff, so. Well, we had that. I mean, last year we had that parade. Oh, yeah. We called you guys in a pinch. The last second they wanted a custom sound bar, and you right. guys had it there. Worked out really good. ASAP. I'm, I'm glad amazing. it worked out. I'm glad it worked out. Maybe we'll show you guys the quality control process a little bit since we're here. Yeah, they were, guys were telling me about this. This sounds awesome. So how we got this set up right now, so these guys are actively testing our new uh, sort of subtrain tens. This is replenishment. Obviously, we're in outdoor season. We're just making sure that everything sounds as good as it is as good as it should. Part of the process is we actually have what's called a golden sampler, kind of the poster child of all of our products. And to basically streamline and speed that process up, we use it as kind of a reference for both for acoustics, as the actual visual outside of it, the aesthetics look good, the overall constructions, what it should be. And if there's anything that actually catches, uh, catches our eye, you know, maybe it doesn't sound right or maybe it uh, visually it doesn't look right, then that flags us to actually sample the entire, the entire basically end on inventory batch. And we'll go through and make sure everything checks out. And if it doesn't, then we'll keep that from shipping and re we'll rework the batch. Way cool. So, so that's what we're actually doing right now. You this guys is exactly doing what we're doing with our burial sub 10. So and these guys are good. I mean, we literally got uh, uh, three truckloads in the last two days, and they're trying to burn through all of us so we can keep our customers happy and keep the product moving out the door. Well, and again, like, like I was saying with Justin over there, is that we don't get, we don't receive gear from you guys, like hardly, rarely ever at all that has any issues with it at all. It's one of the things we love. That's why we use you guys all over the nation, because when we have clients all over the nation and they get their gear, we need to know that it works, and that's been our experience here. Right, right. But this makes Good. sense. This yeah. is way cool. Well, and this is part of a, a two-step process, actually. We actually have a team in China that checks, uh, make sure everything meets our specifications, our requirements, even before it hits the dock. And then as a second step, we actually recheck everything here just to make sure nothing slips through the cracks because... So it gets checked money. before it comes here. Right. It's way so, cool. Yeah, so it's a great process. We love it. And these guys do a great job for us, so... Um, you guys want to take a look at the yeah, sound bars? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Josh, would you mind showing us how, just briefly, how we do this? Thanks, fellas. So we, uh, so when we receive a sound bar order, we we try and get the TV making model. Uh, obviously, we like to have the exact width of what the customer would like it um, cut to, and then Josh and his team will actually take the sound bar, they'll unpackage it, and they'll get it all dressed up, ready to go, and then we'll actually cut it down to the exact dimension of what a dealer uh, requires or a homeowner requires. So, you wanna, right. so yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so. So what we do is we cover the drivers up, you know, just creating mail filings, getting on there. Um, we have our, uh, our our dealer requirements, what their sizes are. <laughs> we convert it down to millimeters and for our, for our cutting here. And then so and then basically we just cut it. So it's gonna be really really loud, super loud. So you guys want to cover your ears? Okay, so feel good. My protection and my uh, my oh, yeah. high protection. So it is super loud. <laughs> Side, we got that side cut, two-step process, a multi-step process, but then now we're going to flip the bar around and cut the other side, and it's yeah. just as loud. So. Yeah, no, that's good. So Josh will take the bar, actually, once both sides are cut, and he'll, he'll uh, actually finish out the end. There's an extensive finishing process that makes it look really nice and gives you that kind of that custom fill, the high-end fill of our custom sound bar. So. Well, and they, they sound amazing. Our clients all love them. Yeah, so, but a great cool. product for us. Thanks, good. man. Thanks, Josh. We're good. Fun yeah, to see absolutely. where the magic happens. Yep. And the rest of the building is just basically cardboard boxes. We have uh, a big fulfillment center down at the end. We actually just had a, a, a big flood that's been, it's like we moved to the Northwest, honestly, with as much rain as we've gotten down here. And it's completely flooded out the backside of our warehouse, so we've had to work through that. So that's why it's a little box heavy up there. So this is our experience room. Uh, this is where we you know, show off some of our most high-end products. Uh, this is our select series. We, uh, one best in show, uh, or best in, best in its class in 2017 from CD or CD Pro. Uh, and we're very happy with it. We've uh, 
had some great uh, great wins. A lot of high end customers that actually prefer our stuff over some of the kind of the house brands, the brands that have been around for a long time. So we're proud of it. It's a made in America product. Um, yeah, made in America. Made in America. <laughs> made in America. Well, I told you we had we had um, we have a couple of lines that we carry that we for our high end stuff right. that we love right. for theaters. And uh, we did our first theater with the Select Series last year mm -hmm. in the parade. And our guys came running home from the first day of the parade and they're like, we want to sell Select Series. Like, that's all they want to sell. They love the sound that he's put out. And um, we still use the other brands, but it's funny, that's five years of us not looking anywhere. And the first time our guys heard this in a real theater setup, sure, it's all they sure. wanted. So, that's wonderful. Uh, and the I client love loves it. So we've been real impressed with them. Our development team did a, a bang up job with it. Honestly, we're, we're we're grateful for it. It's given us made our lives easier as salespeople to be able to help introduce new products to customers and have some wins. And, and you this, can do and you can do in wall too. So you can. people watching these are their kind of their floor standing style or I guess bookshelf style. But you can get them in wall. Um, and I guess you guys are even doing them in ceiling. We are doing them in ceiling. So that, that's that's one nice thing about this room. If anybody hasn't had a chance to truly experience Atmos, we wanted to get an Atmos theater in Southern Utah. So even some of the, the guys who are close can have a chance to come out and hear what Atmos can do. It really takes that listening experience to the next level. It doesn't have to be select series. I mean, it can be you know our GHTs or something entry level, but just getting the speakers in the right position is a big half the battle. And you guys have had clients, like end users, come in here and test these out, right? Oh, yeah. When they're looking for a place their dealer doesn't have one, they'll stop exactly by here right. and test them. That's, well, honestly, that's one of the reasons we designed the room this way, is so that customers can come in, bring their end users in, and have them really experience it. We've actually sold a number of systems here locally just because of this room. So. It's a great tool, great cool. asset. And you guys have got, uh, it's funny, I came, this is a shout out to Audio Control really, but the first time I heard these, I loved them, and then we came back after you swapped out everything with Audio Control, mm -hmm. the power room, and they sound even more better. Oh yeah. Alex and his team have a great product set. It we are amazing. big fans. So, big way fans. fun. Well, that's it for, I mean, do we want to hit Brian real fast, or are you good? Uh, we can go, you want to go bother their development Yeah, we can, we can say hi there, and then we'll chime yeah. out. So we'll go say hi to Brian We'll and the go team. say hi to the development team really quick. And. Uh, Give you the rest of the tour. Yeah. Okay, so basically the first floor, just so everyone knows, is uh, where all of our development uh, team sits, our IT team, and then as we come upstairs, it's really all of our sales. Where's so the bell? Uh, the $5,000 bell is actually right here. Can we ring it? We sh uh, if you got $5,000. No. I'm just kidding. We can ring it. So this is where our, uh, our sales directors and our inside sales team uh, live, basically. Uh, we have everyone based here in Southern Utah, and then this little beauty is what we call our $5,000 bell. So the sales team, if they get a, a, a sell that's greater than $5,000, then we get a <laughs> ring it just like that. <laughs> so we had uh, earlier today, we actually had Lita just close a $15,000 sell, so she got to ring it three times. Fantastic. It's fun. It actually adds a nice little lively culture up here. So oh, kind of cool. fun. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Lita, you want to come ring it on camera? Come ring it on camera? Yeah. It's my first time. It's your first time. <laughs> First time on camera? Yeah. <laughs> cool. You're fine. Trevor probably doesn't get to ring it very much, does he? There we go. Woo! That's 15,000. Oh, she left me hanging. <laughs> so this is the rest of the sales team up here. Controllers over here. And we'll pop into this development meeting really quick and bother these guys. Jimmy. Oh. Hey, uh, we're on uh, Natalie's Facebook office, We're just huh? going to pop in and introduce the rest of the team really quick. If so this, is our, audio, this is our development meeting, Trevor our operations got meeting. To a better office. So this is this is our develop, product development team. We're, uh, we hold these meetings weekly. Uh, we take a look at you know what we've got coming up the pipe, what we're developing, making sure that everything's on time, um, discuss new ideas, all that good stuff. So hide your papers, guys. Sure. These guys make yeah. the magic happen. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. These guys make the magic happen so for anyways. sure. We're, yeah, we're, this is where all the good ideas are had and kept. The video making the magic yeah, yeah. You look skinny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look skinny? Yeah. Make me look buff. Deal. That's yeah. awesome. We're on it. Photoshop. Thanks, guys. I'll let you get back to it. Cool. Well. So, yeah, that's it. In a nutshell, we've got a whole other building over there. We've got Vessel that's over there. They're, uh, they're all out of town, but, uh, you know, if anybody wants to come in and learn more about Vessel, we've got that here ready to go. Demos whenever you want. All prepped and ready for yep. more buildings and more expansion. Exactly too. right. That's exactly you guys right. Are, you guys are cruising. Okay, well, we're going to introduce, well, I don't know if we want to introduce Trevor. Yep. So this is. <laughs> <laughs> so we got. This guy's our favorite. Oh boy. We like him way oh, better than Trevor. Trevor hears all this. 
So Jimmy Lindell is our East Coast uh, uh, sales director. Yvette's our strategic uh, account manager, international sales manager. Mackenzie is our West Coast inside sales manager. And then Trevor hanging out over here in this office is we, our West Coast sales we, director. We, we, call Kinsey, we call Kinsey every day at about 3.45 and ask her to have shipments out in 10 minutes. And right. she always delivers. She's amazing. So one of the things that's fun about True Audio is, is we kind of, I mean, it, you know, we're, we enjoy the, the, the customers we work with. It's a little bit more relaxed environment uh, from a dress code perspective. Even the way we decorate our office, our True Audio just kind of lets us do whatever we want. So by contrast, Trevor's got a guitar, big you jazz actually, fan. Do you, do you even play the guitar? <laughs> you're totally one of those guys. I was going to say. Hey, if, if you're going to show off the Wiener Dog, you got to show off the 2017 present. Let's go. <laughs> But uh, we owe him a plaque. It's coming. Hey, yep. Somebody's been I behind schedule. Do you? Let's hear it. A little. Okay. So Don't he plays a lot. Come on. Come on. More than words. Come on, Blackbird. Come on. Let's hear. It. That's so all right. It'll still sound. It is it's so autographed. Come on. Just show us. <laughs> tinkle the strings a little bit. Come on. Let's see it. Come on. I can't play some Blackbird. No, let's do it. Come on. Come back. Come back here. Everybody's watching you right now. Okay, you got have, one minute. Right, you better right, tune it quick. Right, we're going to There's Angela's. We're coming back. People on this live. I'll pay to hear. You. Are you going to sing Blackbird too, or no. just play? No. <laughs> Angela, do you mind oh if we show your God. office uh, office off on Facebook? So we're live. Wow. We just want to show off our controller's office. So this is. Go ahead. This is the choice office of the entire facility. It's a huge collector, and it's fun. If you ever need to cuddle with a teddy bear. You can cuddle with a teddy bear. You want to come talk to HR? You can do it here. Yeah, let's do the HR. <laughs> hey guys, so we doing? love it. So we got the yeah, the time team here. They're helping us uh, kind of show off the office, do a little Sweet. Facebook live. So, but yeah, this is this is awesome. We love showing off this office. It's kind of our I know showpiece, I guess. <laughs> Angela does a great job. Let's see if Trevor's ready for the guitar. Thanks, Keep everybody Angela. happy. So is is Trevor any good? He's fantastic. He I can hear him tuning it. He is actually He's, really Okay, we gave you 60 seconds. Hey, no, 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 it's not a It is shocking how many Dustin played Dustin the Wind. Dustin the Wind? Deal. All right. You're on well, the spot, my man. <laughs> I don't think we can. They say if you play with your shirt off, you play better. I think we'll skip on that one. Yeah. So while he's tuning it, one thing I'll mention about uh, the rest of the building is we have little demos set up in all the conference rooms. So if anybody wants to come and hear the V23s, uh, we've got those set up downstairs, uh, which are in-wall Bad Boy series. We've got our, uh, in another conference room, we've got a Revolve series. We've obviously shown you the Select series, the rates. We have the Custom Lake Soundbar, which is hiding down in the Select series theater, which you can hear that if you want to come listen to it. So we've kind of designed the entire office space as something you can come and really experience true audio and the quality of our product. So. Okay, and I'm, uh, I know this is going to be cool because half their team just jumped up and ran to the door to yeah. listen to Trevor. So this better be good, <laughs> Trevor. Yeah. Come on, like come on. All right, here we go. What are we playing? Are you going to sing? No. Just twinkle, twinkle. Sing, if it's twinkle, twinkle, I'll sing. sing Dust in the Wind for us. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we did that last week. Didn't go so oh, my. What? Sorry, well Jimmy, played. you're not my favorite anymore. I know, it's, it's back to Trevor. Hey, you guys good. edit that, magic it up, touch it up a little bit. Listen, this is live, by the way. And number two, I think we all have to be our Cedia show. Yeah, yeah we can do Trevor it for Cedia. <laughs> Cedia, you can play background, or Trevor, you can play background of the True Escape video. There we go. Yeah. I love it. I love all right, it. well, that's it. We're going to yep. check out. we got more work to do here at True Audio, but uh, if you um, are a homeowner and you haven't heard of True Audio, check them out. They are one of our very, very, very favorite speaker manufacturers in the game. So, and they're our favorite company in the game, for sure. <laughs> Coolest people in the game. And if you're a dealer, check out Chase and Trevor and Jimmy and the crew. Anybody else? I mean, you guys are the three rock stars, right? Well, <laughs> well we run the sales team, but hey, we appreciate the plug, man, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it's actually all the inside salespeople that do yeah. all the work. Trevor comes in once in a while and buys me dinner. Yeah. But, 
<laughs> these, it better these ladies take care team. of us. Trevor just gets True. the credit. So, <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys coming down. Thanks for the yeah. thanks for the live. Honestly. <laughs> Dude, Trevor, that was bomb, man. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm more self-taught, so I can't play very much. But. As always, we appreciate you watching. We'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, and share this with your friends.